कभी धूप कभी बादलों की लड़िया कुछ तूने सी है मैंने की है रफू ये डोरिया कुछ तूने सी है मैंने की है रफू ये डोरिया बेकरा देखिए इसमें क्या हुआ कि मैंने सारी चीजें तीसरे मात्रा से उठाई और पिया Thank you very much. I want to take this opportunity to thank Live Demi for organizing such wonderful workshops for enthusiastic learners like you. And I hope that I could put a few pieces together for you to take back and uh, think about, ruminate, practice the little pieces that we have discussed. <laughs> रोई मैं बड़ी रात से लिपट के अखियों का हाय कजरा बहाय निर्मोहिया मुह ना दिखाए छीन Let me in. Uh, hello, everybody. This is uh, Nihira Joshi, and I welcome you all to another session of uh, Kahani. After a long time, this is our first session in the new year, 2024, and uh, I am very happy to connect with you all once again. Today on Kahani, I have a a very very special guest. All my guests are special. 
but today is very special because i have known her since a long time at a personal level professionally uh, we met for the first time on the sets of sare gama and then uh, we uh, i i thankfully i never <laughs> competed with romkini she is just just amazing uh, so and uh, she is an all rounder she is a hindustani classical vocalist who has uh, carved a niche for herself with her fearless experimentations on stage her like kari her creativity and everything uh, she has performed in prestigious uh, fun- um, on pre- prestigious platforms like the savai gandharva and uh, classical fests all over the country as well as abroad uh, uh, apart from her uh, repertoire in the hindustani classical music she is also an independent uh, composer she has her own band called khayale jazz where uh, she makes indo fusion songs uh, based on hindustani classical fused with uh, modern uh, contemporary sound she composes her own bandishes she has done playback for uh, several films and almost all of her songs have garnered a lot of appreciation from the critics as well as the audiences so let's all welcome the wonderful very 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 wonderful ronkini gupta maybe please have ronkini hi hi Sarah. hello ronkini so so good hi. to see you same year itne saalon baad itne saalon baad yes but uh, the good part is that uh, of late we have been in touch after yes, a very long off- time yes yes we've been in touch thanks to the social media and whatsapp and although i'm out of the country yes but, yes, uh, yes i think after a very long time we connected over a call and uh, spoke for very long one of yes. the days i think during covid or i don't know maybe covid yes. sometimes it, it was in covid yes. when you called and yes. we just spoke spontaneously for a very long time and ever since long. we've been in touch in touch yes yes So, so uh, let me tell. Oh, it's a pleasure, absolute pleasure. So let me tell all the people who have joined over here that uh, Ronkin and I go back a long way, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, I remember uh, listening to Ronkin, admiring her singing in uh, intercollegiate fests, also Malar, sure, Umang, yes. and all yes. these fests. And she used like to twice. be a clear winner, absolute clear winner in the classical category, from what I remember. and uh, mm-hmm. it used to be an absolute pleasure listening to ronkini so let us begin with your beginnings your the how the how music came into your life and how did you step on into this journey so very quickly if i have to like put it across um, of course i was very small um, mm-hmm. tender age of 5 or 6 when i was introduced to it and uh, of course i had no clue of what i was getting into but my mm-hmm. parents were good listeners i would say none of them mm-hmm. have a musical background per se but they were good listeners and uh, yes. we were fortunate enough to be in a place called jamshedpur uh, that time bihar now jharkhand uh, mm-hmm. and uh, again very very fortunate to have one of the best gurus uh, there of indian classical music uh, okay. shri chandrakant apte ji who was my first guru okay and uh, i was introduced to him and my first 10 years of classical training learning experiential and physical was with shri chandrakant apte ji post that i uh, was trained under the tutelage of uh, ustad dilshad khan sahab and parveen okay. ji for a couple of years at that time also i was living in jamshedpur but i used to kind of spend my vacations with them because mm-hmm. uh, Was, their style was the guru shishya talib you know i had to be at the place and uh, like my first guru comes listen. from that school of music shrimati vidya okay. sahil ji is a disciple okay. of begum parveen ji so i have also okay. met her okay. and dilshad khan sahab also so oh, wow so again a very fantastic teacher and a very impressionable very impactful uh, teacher uh, then i moved on to training under ustad ustad abdul rashid khan sahab and also pandit samresh choudhary ji for uh, you know brief periods but okay uh, they have been also very important pillars in my life in terms of what they taught me what i what i assimilated out of that learning and how it has now you know shaped a very very important part of my uh, performance 
and now currently i'm training under uh, ashad ali khan who's again a very very young dynamic exponent of the kirana karana okay. so uh, that has been my formal learning but hmm. uh, uh, like you know that uh, we are all learning every day from each other from different very Sources. beautiful eclectic yes. musicians the world has opened up in a big way and now i can't even tell what my influences are because whatever i hear and i feel uh, can become a part of me sometimes knowingly sometimes completely unknowingly it kind of just seeps in and comes out in its own beautiful ways so, indirect of course in indirect passive learning is i think one of the biggest influences in any person's life sure. not just in music but in all areas in all uh, areas even as a child i remember uh, apart from the direct learning that happened a lot of passive learning i think it shaped my thought process yeah, yeah. and all of it i think it's the case Everyone. with everybody yeah 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 like what 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 our parents have played to us you know initially i remember a lot of lata ji uh, asha ji kishor kumar uh, i remember in the bhajan section pd jalota ke albums bhajan mm-hmm. ke and you know so th- my memories go back a very long <laughs> journey of memories i have in that sense ke kya play kiya and sabhi ke kuch kuch ansh parts of everything have made a place for themselves in my head heart everywhere everywhere so uh, just to uh, begin with you, did you begin your uh, uh, learning with the kirana gharana or was it always kirana or you've learned from uh, gurus from uh, different gharanas so different because uh, ustad abdul rashid khan shri chandrakant dr ji my first they were all from the gwalior gharana gwalior yes yes and uh, here is tarah abhi ashad bhai is kirana so uh, mostly gwalior and kirana but i am a die hard fan of kishori ji so <laughs> so i keep listening to her like crazy so that jaipur atroli is what her gharana is and then um, i listen to a lot of ulhas kashalkar ji right now the among the young exponents kaushik ji omkar dadarkar ji so <laughs> these are my influences so ye sare patiala hai koi jaipur hai koi agra hai so now it's 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 all a blend i think it's a beautiful blend of what i'm hearing and yes. it helps to kind of build a new style of course so that's what i was coming to because you've had the opportunity of training under so many different styles and so many different influences you've had on your own thought process how right. important is the gharana system i mean uh, to as as they say to maintain the purity of a gharana or mm. is individual style more important to you is my question so uh, it's a it's a great question to ask first of all uh, we need to go back into history to understand what gharanas were and why why gharana mm-hmm. was applicable that is the reason actually i asked because a lot of people do not have the clarity of why these gharanas happened exactly. and how they yeah. came about so it would be right. nice if you could throw some light right. on that so uh, it's like how we have countries or regions you know hmm. and then how regions intersect at points and how communication has helped to make that intersection even more malleable now so when they existed means of communications were very less the so less, they could exactly. progress in a manner where they could become extremely crystallized hmm. so as a style ki hmm. ye and of course it was started by one person and then that lineage kind of carried lineage on followed lineage for and then they had students and then that so it became a cult of sorts hmm. and then how cult and then intersecting to phir do do gharane milke phir kya hua and then now when gharana has almost become very archaic like someone like me who has had different kinds of influences and also apart from indian classical because music as such is a very big umbrella bahut bada hai so bahut bada umbrella hai aur kahin se bhi aapko seekhne ko milta hai to uske kya elements aa sakte hain wo completely ek individual mind ke upar dependent hai absolutely so i i feel it's very important to understand distinct styles which is what a gharana is hmm till you discover what is your own style or what, what is your own expression exactly 
exactly it's like you how you have to read different books to finally get what it is to be a writer you know and then you develop your own style which can be a very distinct unique style may not follow a particular school of thought but hmm. might have influences of various schools of thought of course so, because at the end even these gharanas were individual styles in the first place yeah. when they began when so, they began they were individual styles styles wohi tha to wonderful wonderful answer rohin uh, ronkini and uh, thanks for clarifying the system of the gharanas for all our uh, listeners and for everybody who is also there uh, joined with us on uh, youtube and facebook and i see a lot of people uh, rahul lord ji and uh, i see alok also and a lot of people over here who are really enjoying the session thank you all of you hi to all of you yes so uh, that clarifies a lot of mist and uh, you know confusion about the uh, whole yeah regarding the gharana systems ki exactly hai kya ye so at the end i think you've very beautifully established ki aapka apna individual style har jagah se aata hai aur usko aap rok nahi sakte you cannot stop that you cannot stop your progress you cannot limit it correct correct so, and plus uh, uh, जैसे हम अलग अलग जगहों पे ट्रैवल करके एक्सपीरियंसेस गेन करते हैं यू नो दीज डिफरेंट घरानाज आर लाइक दैट दे आर डिफरेंट प्लेसेस टू व्हिच यू ट्रैवल एंड देन समटाइम्स यू फाइंड सच ब्यूटीफुल सिमिलैरिटीज एंड देन समटाइम्स यू फाइंड यूनिक डिफरेंसेस सो अ ब्लेंड ऑफ बोथ कैन गिव राइज टू अ न्यू प्लेस इन योर माइंड राइट वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई फील टू टू हैव घरानाज बिकॉज़ देन यू नो व्हाट इज योर व्हाट इज अ डिस्टिंक्ट कैरेक्टर and then from there to break into different kinds of layers that might be possible out of it yes so, definitely like the in the jaipur atrauli gharana what i i specifically love is uh they don't increase the lay mm-hmm. but they increase their bearing of the scene bearing, and that's yes. where uh, the even the tabla player changes his language and they all adapt True. to the whole uh, change that is happening in the same lay and right. uh, the bhav the bhav element the bhav. of the jaipur atrauli gharana is correct. Correct. something that really resonates a lot with me absolutely so, absolutely and ultimately raga singing moves towards that direction with all the math and the science and the uh, reasoning it moves into the realm of the abstracts so uh, even for me i think jaipur atrauli which is kishori tai <laughs> whole yes. and so yes and, really really resonates with me so um with this i would like to come to the since you spoke about uh, the mathematics and uh, the calculations of the indian classical music i have marked specifically that in your performances you experiment a lot with the laikari with the tabla right. you uh, come up with a lot of the highs and you i have seen that you have a regular riyaz sessions with uh, your tabla player uh, his name yes. is uh, uh, ashish ashish ragwani ashish ragwani uh, so i would like you to establish the importance of doing riyaz with a live tabla player because most of us today we do riyaz with our i tabla pro or our apps or the machines that we have बट कितना जरूरी है और क्यों जरूरी है लाइव म्यूजिशियंस के साथ रियाज करना ये आई वुड लाइक यू टू एस्टेब्लिश दैट राइट व्हाई डोंट यू स्टार्ट दिस नेम बिकॉज़ यू आल्सो हैव अ ग्रुप सो एक्चुअली दिस इज एन ओपन डिस्कशन आई थिंक बिकॉज़ आई आल्सो नो दैट यू आल्सो परफॉर्म अलोंग विद अ बैंड एंड इवन इन लाइव म्यूजिक दीस डेज पीपल परफॉर्म लेट्स से ऑन अ ट्रैक वेयर देयर आर नो पीपल Yes. so one is just performance with and without and then the other is riyaz with and without in both cases i feel the first and foremost thing is just presence of human flesh and blood which is exactly. an exchange of energy i'll i'll just want to start with that part first there because, you are uh, it's it's like playing a game alone and i mean you could play chess alone for that yes. matter and kind of improve on your intellect and value and uh, uh, the way you move uh, plan your 10 moves i mean for sure you can do that when, but when you play with a real mind 
it comes with its uh, abstractions, complexities, uh, inputs, experiences, own unique ideas. So then you're bouncing off and on, you know. So it's 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 play at its best. It takes two to tango, right? So it's a yes. dance. I, I look at it like that. It's it's an association. It's interactivity. A lot of all of this. So that is one part of it. The other part of it, as far as Ashish is concerned, because I I practically do all my dr sessions with him mm -hmm. understanding tal as a complete discipline mm -hmm. i feel has become part of my own study not just as a companion of sur but yeah. as a separate individual entity, entity. you know Perfect. so understanding that uh, has become an extremely important tool for me because suddenly a whole new world has opened up Yes. which never happened because uh, after I uh, came on my own for this entire uh, journey into Indian classical music for a very mm -hmm. long time I didn't have a partner to do riyas with I have mm -hmm. been doing a lot of riyas like you said with the uh, machine machine yes right and I spent a good 10 years without a companionship a physical companionship and then Ashish came in uh, it actually started in 18 and my growth in between 18 to 23 has been exponentially hmm. uh, rapid rapid uh, if i have to compare it with the mm -hmm. 15 years be before that R right so just understanding that aspect made me value it a lot more and then, of course, understanding Tal and like Ari, like you're saying that you know you see those impressions because it's it's a lot of hard work that has happened together along with him, where he has almost been a mentor and teacher. Wow! Because there are things he understands so well, right? And we have always had a melodic approach, maybe mm -hmm. to a lot of things. But the moment it comes, and uh, by God's grace, I had math as my subject of Mm -hmm. bachelor's I, I did my bachelor's in mathematics and statistics wow so yeah. i do have the understanding of let's say permutating combinations and then um well now i can see a lot of everything all my subjects in music that's a separate thing i see mm -hmm. organic chemistry also in indian classical but that's a separate thing but uh just having the mathematical tool in place with mm -hmm. somebody explaining things very well and therefore the three highs and where where should it be on from uh, even me odd kaise karna hai odd me even kaise karna hai all those dimensions open up very well so i think yes. again very very important so both things one is just the human interaction and the other is of course understanding it as the discipline as a separate very very big discipline does it um does doing riyas regular riyas with a tabla player uh, does it take away inhibition when you are actually performing on stage yes because uh, if you if you've never performed or never practiced with a tabla player and you suddenly yes. step onto the stage with a tabla player yes. it is going to intimidate you absolutely so, absolutely so it, yes. it's just a binary answer yes there is yes. no two ways about it and it lifts your confidence yes. by multiple folds it's not like okay. a it's like an orbit shift Yes, yes, definitely. Because I uh, am currently training with uh, Anuradha Kuberji, who is learning from oh, wow. uh, Dr. Arvind Thakte, who is Are a musicologist, mathematician, we all know. Yes. And yes. Anutai also brings in a lot of mathematics in her uh, singing, in her highs. Although I personally confess not being particularly very good at it. Because I've never been uh, good at math as such. I've mm -hmm. always been a more dreamy kind of a person. Mm -hmm. But I do know that uh, mathematics has a very deep uh, uh, connection with music. Connection, yeah, role to play, yes, yes. A very yeah. important role to play. Uh, because like, it's, it's, it's not just an in Indian classical. Now we have different time signatures in jazz. Right. Also, right? So wo sabhi math hi hai. it's all math. Correct, 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 correct. And then blending that with your own body rhythm. Of course, yes. that, can, that, that can never be taken away. Because uh, now that I'm a teacher, you know, I, I meet different kinds of brains. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't even say I meet different people. I, I meet different 
इंटेलेक्चुअल कैपेसिटीज सो किसी किसी का मैथ बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होते हुए भी वो उसको कन्वर्ट uh, नहीं कर पाते हैं अपने रिदमिक डायमेंशन के साथ और किसी किसी लोगों का रिदमिक डायमेंशन इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग होता है कि वो मैथ को पीछे छोड़ के कई आगे निकल चुके हैं ये भी है सो हाउ टू काइंड ऑफ ब्लेंड द टू टूगेदर एंड ऑपरेट एट एन ऑप्टिमल इज बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हियर So, as you said uh, over here that you have been teaching a lot of different kinds of minds i, I love the term when you say minds uh, and i always believe that uh, when one teaches to learn yes so i'm going to it's a uh, question that i would love to throw at you that aapne apne students se kya sikha hai maine apne students se filhal agar main baat karu abhi ki hmm तो आई हैव ऑल्सो अलग अलग माइंड्स के हम बात कर रहे हैं आई एम वेरी क्यूरियस टू नो कि व्हाट हैव यू पिक्ड अप फ्रॉम देम व्हाइल टीचिंग देम आई हैव ओपेंड अप एज अ पर्सन हम रिजिडिटी जो होती है ना वो हर इंसान के अंदर कुछ ना कुछ डिग्री में तो होती है हम ठीक है आई हैव ऑल्सो बीन क्लोज टू अ फ्यू आइडियाज लेट्स से ऑनलाइन लर्निंग में क्या सीखोगे आप बिकॉज़ आई कम फ्रॉम अ स्कूल ऑफ लर्निंग जहां पे हमेशा फिजिकल ही ही मैंने लर्न किया है अब जाके शायद मैं अर्षद भाई से कभी कभी फिर भी मैं साल में एक बार उनके पास भी जाती हूँ सो जस्ट ओपनिंग अप टू द आइडिया दैट बिकॉज दे आर अ सेपरेट जेनरेशन दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू ऑल्सो टेक मोर फ्रॉम दिस मीडिया ओके यस ऑनलाइन की मैं स्पेसिफिकली बात कर रही हूँ बट अदर देन दैट numerous things how patience is a very important piece okay mm. uh mujhe jitna waqt laga hai agar abhi main ek x position mein hu to i cannot assume things for the person who is learning from me yes. i have to give that much time that much patience you know uh, so all these things and plus mera khud ka apna like while i say something to the student i am reiterating it for myself so yeah. automatically उस पर मेरा ध्यान भी और ज्यादा जाता है आई हैव ऑल्सो डन थिंग्स लाइक अगर मैं किसी राग पे काम कर रही हूँ तो मैं उसको लेके फिर सिखाती हूँ देन आई नो की फॉर द नेक्स्ट पूरा हफ्ता आई एम गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस दैट अलॉन्ग विदूडेंट यू नो समाइम्स वी वी हैव टू गो बैक टू अवर बेसिक्स जो yes. एक लेवल पे आने के बाद हो नहीं पाता है कि वो पीछे छूटता जाता है वो सब चीजें राइट सो while teaching it then you are doing it so many times yourself 15 bar 20 bar 25 bar 30 bar yes so lots lots lot when you teach two people learn absolutely like bang on spot on you said that yes so koi ant nahi hai ki main kya sikh rahi hu kya experience kar rahi hu in terms of experiences i have had a myriad of experiences with different students that i have had <laughs> so uh, i can't even like verbalize it uh, आपको उनको फूड फॉर थॉट देना है देना है एग्जैक्टली satisfy and their quest and learning yes learning absolutely so all of these things i think very well said ki unko bhi ek challenge unka up karne ke liye aap apna game up karte ho so yes absolutely so many so many things you also go deeper into like sometimes the questions that they ask make you think exactly. have you ever thought of it in that manner and if you had to then what would the answer be so all those pieces i think lots to learn from every every uh, questioning mind i've had the same experiences with uh, my uh, students also who learn from me ke har bar kuch naya seekhti hu jab main unko sikhati hu because as you know apna we we keep improving ourselves we keep challenging Correct. ourselves because we want to want want them to learn something from us so absolutely hum apne aap ko बेहतर बनाते जाते हैं एंड दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिल्कुल 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 सो आई एम लर्निंग अ लॉट आई एम टीचिंग फॉर फॉर वेरी वेरी वेल सेड 
Uh, with this, uh, I would like to come to a few of your performing experiences in the Indian classical field, like you've performed for Savai Gandharva and several other festivals all over the country as well as outside. Yeah. How how has been uh, how has it been performing for so many festivals? Or, uh, <laughs> uh, how is how is it that you go about it? That uh, when when is it that you decide which ragas are you going to perform? How advanced do you uh, start planning? Or sometimes is it just spontaneous? Do you feel like like, ye gana hai, main ye so how, how do you go about it so uh, it's different at different points so mm -hmm. la, right now 2023 so i've been performing for the past 10 years if i have to count my first performance more than 10 mm -hmm. my first performance was in 2010 classical ka, pehla performance ya 2009 mujhe theek se yaad nahi aa 9 or 10 tha उस टाइम पे जो एक्सपीरियंस था वो ये था जो आप कह रहे हो कि डू यू डू यू प्लान फ्रॉम इन एडवांस हाउ टू रियली प्लान इन एडवांस फॉर अ रियली लॉन्ग टाइम अंटिल आई थिंक 2018 आई हैव जो राग में जब गाने वाली हूं एक तो परफॉर्मेंसेस बहुत कम थे मेरी एक्चुअली परफॉर्मेंसेस बढ़ी 20 के बाद ओके पोस्ट कोविड आई हैव एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड परफॉर्म मोस्ट ऑफ माय ग्रेट स्टेजेस एंड परफॉर्मेंसेस हैव कम पोस्ट कोविड तो वो भी एक्चुअली बहुत वो भी ब्लेसिंग ही है क्योंकि कोविड के दौरान बहुत अलोन टाइम मिला आइसोलेटेड टाइम मिला और आइसोलेशन चाहिए किसी भी कला को डेप्थ पाने के लिए निखारने के लिए निखारने के लिए सो so, वो हुआ बट उसके पहले तक जब भी मैं परफॉर्म करती थी एटलीस्ट एक महीना पहले तो मैं प्लान करने लगती थी और कुछ और गाती ही नहीं थी उस टाइम पे you know, कि अगर सोच लिया है मारू बिहाग गाना है तो बस मारू बिहाग गा रहे और बाकी कुछ others would be like disturbing get out get out get out get out you switch know? everything else off switch yeah. everything else off but you know uh, as I have grown in these whatever three to four years that have gone by उसमें मुझे वो growth भी हुआ thankfully कि कोई भी चीज को isolation में करने के लिए बाकी चीजों को बंद करने की जरूरत नहीं जरूरत नहीं है you know, uh, wo switch on or switch off may be ek, ek fluidity honi chahiye. Okay, you should hmm. be able to fluently switch it off and then switch on whenever needed. Hmm. And fortunately, by the grace of God, I've come to a point where now I don't plan. Okay. And most of the time it works. Lovely. Because I've had a beach ka vakt aisa bhi gaya hai ki plan plan kiya. Aur jis din stage pe baitri hai, us din mani nahi kar raha hai wo ka. Ye bhi hmm. hua hai mere but maybe when you worry that you have planned kiya ha you know what i mean because you don't feel a certain way you start understanding and growing up to the fact that ultimately raga is an emotion hmm. uh, along exactly. along with the fact that it's it's a format and there is it's a genre and there is a certain way of going about it usko agar hum baju mein rakhe as a technique then it's a mood and agar wo mood nahi ban raha hai us waqt to nahi ban raha hai and somehow ha. aapka wo practice bhi पता नहीं कितना काम है मतलब वो आपको लेके तो जाएगा it will sail you through but you may or may not be in in the correct state hmm. right so from I'm there your own performance also yeah exactly so I have I have also gone through a stage where uh, like I said कि decide किया वो ही गाया लेकिन मन नहीं कर रहा था to a point where I came कि decide किया पर मन कुछ और कर रहा था so I could tell myself कि जो मन कर रहा है वो ही गाऊंगी क्या बात है wonderful and I am so happy, Ronkini, that you have come out in the open confessing all these things because it is very important for people to know the emotional struggles of the artist also. Correct, correct, correct. So, we a perfect face on stage. लेकिन बिल्कुल कोशिश किया जा रहा है मतलब हाँ लेकिन उसके पीछे क्या emotional struggle से हम गुजरते हैं ये भी अगर दूसरे artists को पता चले then they would not invalidate their own experiences when they are going through it. And Absolutely. that's the reason I feel it is very important for all of us to come out in the open and confess all of talk these about things. It. Honestly, exactly. Talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And both of you know, Neera. So taking that chance and kharao utarna and taking that chance or na bhi utarna. Na utarna. Not taking that chance and uh, mess up karna and not mm -hmm. taking the chance 
and safely sail through karna so all the four have happened okay lovely but yeah and so one has to basically try and experiment like you said that you know how how do you find the confidence to kind of it happens with these experiments by failing in these experiments Absolutely not all right. passing in them wonderful you know so uh, yeah and classical gives you that uh, it it is one of the toughest tests because it is improv singing even when you are singing a rag that you have decided hmm you are not singing anything that is planned prepared exactly it's 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 not rehearsed you're prepared you haven't rehearsed uh, there is a difference between rehearsing and preparation preparation is an ongoing activity right so wo ongoing activity and then you surrender to that spot True. for that moment ki jo kiya hai jo itna din itne din se jisko main sadhana mein dal rahi hu wo usme se kuch to nikal ke aa jayega wo yes lovely uh you know after talking a lot about uh, your journey in the classical music let's move on to the other forms of music that you have explored uh khayale jazz your own uh, band which you formed it was a fusion band i think where you composed yes. songs melodies based on classical uh, music and you had yes. a group of uh, four five musicians so right. what was the exp- how was the experience uh, doing khayale jazz and it why why the name like khayale it. jazz I did khayale jazz for really a specific purpose nehra at that point of time I was uh I was in the intermediate stage you know uh, mm-hmm. of exploration ke jo itne saal seekha hai uske sath kar kya sakte hain kya kya kar sakte hain kar kya sakte hain aur kya kya kar sakte hain dono and uh, uh, honestly to get a stage for pure khayal hmm is a very very i mean because i i mean for the lack of a better word i'm an outsider into this world of music first generation hmm. so pata bhi nahi tha ki kahan se shuru karna hai kya karna hai hmm to uh, the the answer to that kya starts with acha kya hai mere paas to hmm. usse kya ho sakta hai let's take that first step baki ka dekhenge so just just surrendering to whatever you have and whatever best you can do with it to us waqt jo mere daire ke andar tha kuch musicians the kuch like minded people the young uh, restless wanting to do something so i found that tribe fortunately and they were all with me in mind uh, in soul to get this together pehle to sirf ek idea tha kyunki arohi who is a very good friend of mine hmm. Uh, उसके साथ वैसी मुलाकात होती थी हम जैम करते थे तो किसी दिन हमने एक बंदिश ली मालकॉन्स का बंदिश था मेरी ओरिजिनली एक कंपोजिशन थी और हारमोनीज में हम गाने लगे उसको तो बड़ा एक अच्छा माहौल बना तो उससे कुछ आइडिया आया कि कुछ कर सकते हैं क्या इस तरीके का सो देन वी गॉट पीपल टूगेदर एंड देन दैट्स हाउ द बैंड वॉज फॉर्म एंड देन वी थॉट लेट्स do just this not uh, dilute it with any uh, commercial other music so hmm. that we develop a sound of our own and we can Lovely. put it on stage for people to just experience ki dekho kaisa lag raha hai like a new dish okay. very nice so wo tha plan do mahine humne sabne us pe kaam kiya and we did a gig of our own ek chhota sa venue leke Hmm. All right, and we shot it and stuff like that. We presented it to a few people, and it took off. My God's grace! So, one time take off was so. Sabka fir spirits high ho gaya. We got motivated hmm. to do more of it. पहले तो सिर्फ चार पांच छः I think छः सात compositions compositions थे. उसके बाद हमने उसमें थोड़ा सा you know we put in little bit of familiar stuff because we wanted to take it to a larger crowd. Wanted to do Definitely. corporate show. तो वहाँ पे फिर जिस तरीके का एक एक एक्सपेक्टेशन होती है तो केटरिंग टू दैट एक्सपेक्टेशन वी काइंड ऑफ बिल्ड अनदर 20 मिनट्स ओवर एंड अबव इट वे वी टुक जो कंपोजर्स हमें बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं जैसे रहमान साहब हो गए शंकर एहसान लॉय हो गए जिनके गाने काफी हद तक क्लासिकल म्यूजिक को एक्सप्लोर करते हैं उन गानों को फिर लेके थोड़ा सा ब्लेंड करके कैसे उसको सो दैट टू गिव इट अ फैमिलियर टच सो द आईडिया वाज टू रीच आउट टू मोर पीपल यंगर पीपल बिकॉज़ क्लासिकल आल्सो हैज दिस आई डोंट नो अनकैनी वे ऑफ Having this image of, कह रही है तो थोड़ा old, 
ऑडियंस के लिए है या जो कि मेरे एक्सपीरियंस से अब क्योंकि आई हैव डन ख्याल नाउ आई एम कम्प्लीटली इन टू अगेन द प्योर फॉर्मेट मुझे ऐसा नहीं लगता है मुझे hmm. लगता है कि क्लासिकल हैज इट्स फेयर शेयर ऑफ यंग पीपल वॉन्टिंग टू डू इट हेयर इट एंजॉय इट गेट एंटरटेन विद इट एवरीथिंग so khayali jazz was a beautiful part of my journey i would say where i ex- explored and experimented to my heart's content sab kuch kiya jo jo man kiya sab kuch kiya uske sath adel ko bhi le aayi jacob poller ko bhi le aayi sab ko jo jo artists acche lagte hai jo west ke bhi hai unke bhi gaane le aayi nora jones ko bhi le aayi amy winehouse ko bhi le aayi so kyunki matlab dil mange more all the time so and with this you have established a very very important point another important point and knowingly i think ki jab aap start kar rahe hain ek uh, covers ya kisi aur composers matlab singing your own original songs is important but there is nothing wrong in blending it with populist uh, music because you want to reach out to the larger audience उसमें कोई भी गलत बात नहीं है नहीं 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 और ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है बिल्कुल बट वॉट आई लर्न फ्रॉम द एंटायर सिचुएशन इज स्टैंडिंग टूडे इज दैट वाइल्ड आई एम डूइंग द ब्लेंड आई मीन इट्स वेरी डिबेटेबल नेहरा यू कैन ऑल्सो फिल मी इन विथ योर ओन एक्सपीरियंसेस कि आपको कैसा लगा क्योंकि अभी मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि कई गाने ऐसे से ऐसे हैं जो बहुत ब्यूटिफुली भी ब्लेंड हुए पर कई गाने मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ओवर भी हो गया जरूरत नहीं था इस, uh, इस चीज के बारे में व्हाट आई वुड बिकॉज आई हैव आल्सो परफॉर्म माय ओन ओरिजिनल म्यूजिक का सेट अलोंग विद यू नो सच ब्लेंडिंग्स इस समटाइम्स इट्स ओके टू ऐड व्हाट यू फील स्पॉन्टेनियसली और वट यू फील एड्स वैल्यू I mean, I wouldn't call it adding value because we already इतने great pieces हैं. But just है. I would say your own take on it. Take. हाँ. But sometimes it's not even necessary. This this it's is something even I would agree. And just executing what the original people have done to the done. best of their ability. A yeah. Complete surrender. Just a complete surrender. Honest tribute. Nothing else. हाँ हाँ. Just nothing else. कुछ कम नहीं है. बिल्कुल कम नहीं है इनफैक्ट वो कई बार कुछ गाने इतने ऑप्टिमल होते हैं ना कि उससे ज्यादा ज्यादा ही होता है इट्स लाइक like मीठे में ज्यादा चीनी पड़ गया तो मतलब फिर hmm. उसका स्वाद बिगड़ जाता है तो ये भी ये भी एक लर्निंग है कि वाइल्ड एंड फ्यूजन इज एन एक्सट्रीमली डेलिकेट फ्रेजाइल सब्जेक्ट यू नो बिकॉज इट इज वेरी सब्जेक्टिव <laughs> उसमें ऑब्जेक्टिवली कुछ चीजें देखना बड़ा मुश्किल काम है इसीलिए hmm. शायद प्योर फॉर्मेट जानना जरूरी है hmm. एक प्योर फॉर्मेट जानने से आप बाकी फॉर्मेट को उसमें मिला के नहीं जानिए रॉक मिला रहे हैं पॉप मिला रहे हैं जैज मिला रहे हैं क्या मिला रहे हैं तो उन फॉर्मेट्स को भी और डेप्थ में जानिए सो बेसिकली आई गेस इट कम्स डाउन टू वॉट एवर इज रेजोनेटिंग विद द इमोशन ऑफ द सॉन्ग Yes, what you can yes. go with मतलब अगर कोई uh, type of fusion से उस गाने का पूरा डेमोलिशन हो रहा है बेटर नॉट टू डू इट यस यू हैव टू कन्वे द स्टोरी ऑफ द सॉन्ग इफ इफ यू टू कन्वे स्टोरी टेलिंग बिकॉज सिंगिंग सॉन्ग इज अबाउट स्टोरी टेलिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू मी टेलिंग एवरीथिंग इज अबाउट स्टोरी टेलिंग एक्सप्रेशन इज स्टोरी टेलिंग म्यूजिकली कर रहे हो डांस में कर रहे हो पेंटिंग में कर रहे हो जो भी कर रहे हो इट इज स्टोरी टेलिंग तो यू हैव टू रिमेन ट्रू टू द स्टोरी सो कई बार क्या होता है बिकॉज वी आर ऑल आर्टिस्ट एंड वी आर ऑल गिल्टी ऑफ इट समाइम्स कि हम हम आ जाते हैं हर जगह हाँ स्टोरी पीछे रह जाती है सो कंसिडरिंग द आर्ट बिगर देन द सेल्फ और द आर्टिस्ट ऑलवेज हैविंग दैट इन माइंड एंड वो करना बड़ा मुश्किल काम है वी हैव ऑल फेल्ड एट टाइम्स and we we have learned ki kaise fir nahi wo nahi bhi karna hai so that whole idea of withdrawal that whole idea of pulling back holding back is also a learning from my yes. own fusion brand i feel putting the piece of art the highest yes yes and all of yes. us are just servants to that piece of art yes yes absolutely uh with that you know i would like to mention that there are many people who are loving this conversation they are loving your answers 
Namita ji is here. Anurag Mishra is here. And uh, Alok is here. Shubhra oh, Srivastava oh, oh. is here. My parents are here. Pooja, oh, Gopalan, Pooja Gopalan is here. Rahul Pooja Gopalan from our Sarigama days. Yeah. Yes. Ashish is also here. And uh, Aarti. There are so many people. Shailesh ji who are loving Shailesh. your answers and uh, the discussion. And I am also thoroughly enjoying uh, this discussion and this talk with you, Ronkini. Same here, same here, Neera. <laughs> we keep we keep talking to each other. Otherwise, also, and I know that you, being a composer yourself, I think you will resonate with uh, these thought pieces. Yes. And you've gone through the same dilemmas, I'm sure. Lots, lots of them, and I'm just happy to hear that somebody is coming out in the open. With all these confessions, which is very, very important, I feel this candidness. Very true. With very this, true. I think uh, Satyajit wants to bring in a guest. Is what he's saying? May we oh, have wow. this surprise guest? Even I am not aware of Bhavya. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you Hi, guys. Bhavya. Hi. Hi, Bhavya. This is a real surprise. Thank you, Satyajit, for doing this. <laughs> Uh, welcome uh, to Kahani Bhavya. It's lovely you. to have you. I was enjoying the conversation in the wings virtually. And uh, Satyajit asked me yesterday if we could do this. I said, what? I was anyway going to join the link, of course. And two of my favorite people, such amazing singers. So, yeah. Like wise. Thank you. Bhavya is also a wonderful artist. And uh, she keeps experimenting a lot. She is a composer. She is a vocal coach herself. And yes. I find her exercises, whatever she posts on Instagram, very, very inspiring. Yeah. I follow them a lot. I love them. Fun. Thank you. So that coming coming from my teacher. I learned from Ronkini. So thank oh, you so lovely. much. Half of the things that I share are funneled through her expertise. So <laughs> all credit to her. But uh, no, I'm a huge fan for both of you. Neera, I've told you so many times. Just to legit vote for you in Saregama Pa. And... Uh, <laughs> Rokini <laughs> is, and uh, I very openly say this all the time, one of my biggest inspirations. So it's it's very, very lovely to just, just be here. And uh, Yes, and with Bhavya, I have actually shared my, uh, like what you were saying, na, Nira, ki, uh, stage pe jane se pehle jo ek, uh, hota hai, artist ke man mein jo I have shared a lot of that with her a lot of times. Post concert, we have shared with her. Kiare, aisa lag raha tha, aisa lag raha tha. You know, I went through this and that, and this. These were my inhibitions today, or this was what. So, she's also like a confidant. She's been a confidant through a lot of my uh, performances. Thank you. It's really good to be able to talk about those things which you can't address with the audience necessarily, and to just come back and be grounded by fellow musicians because. Sometimes we can get carried away with what happens on stage and it's good to have that humbling feedback and safe space and just people gave. It's just another day in my life. So. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Anyway. So now so I'm now gonna... with Bhavya uh, coming in, I know what Ronkini was talking about, you know, uh, that she's teaching different kinds of minds. And this is the term that she used for her students, which I found very, very insightful and uh, novel and lovely. And Bhavya herself is an intelligent, uh, thinking uh, musician. Absolutely. Very thinking. Highly thinking musician. Yeah. Very true. Thank you. Sometimes I think too much and do too little. So that can be a problem. <laughs> but I do like to think. So. <laughs> but that, that's also you know, the dilemma of an adult brain, right? I mean, you have so many questions. Yeah. Exactly. All day I'm just thinking, But speaking of teaching, I have Rongini to thank because I started teaching post-COVID. And uh, when I started teaching, I started to understand that there are so many things, my doubts, that are clear to You don't even start answering with that objective, but you reach so many breakthroughs. Uh, it's kind of like therapy, except you're supposed to be the therapist, but then you end up getting the therapy also. So I love it. And uh, Rangini is one of the few people in my friend circle also. Luckily, she's a guru, but she's also a friend that I've been able to bond uh, on that, like discussing how it is to teach. So thank you guys so much for doing everything you do. And always grateful. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much, Bhavya. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you for being here 
and uh, and please uh, thank you sir you need the question yes i'm sorry I'm, i'm i'm here i'm listening to everything making notes i'm going to take a leave there are others joining in so <laughs> cheers everyone thank, thank you for you. such a beautiful conversation thank you bhavya thank thank it was a pleasure you, to see you like bye bye and uh, now we have another guest it's mahesh kale wow oh my god hi namaste hi I'm namaste sorry, i don't know if my network is uh, stable but uh, uh, satyaji told me that you guys are meeting today and i thought as a music music junkie i wanted to stop by and say hello to both of you wow both thank wonderful you. people thank you uh, thank you thank you so much I Mahesh Dada uh, needs no introduction, and so I, I would say I'm just privileged uh, that uh, he is on Kahani, and no, 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 no. You, you both wonderful, wonderful human beings, musicians committed to the craft, sincere in your pursuit. These are qualities I admire and aspire for. So I just wanted to quickly come say thank you, thank you, Nihira, for this. Thank you so much. This. It means a lot. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, Rumkini ji, uh, it's wonderful to have a musician like you around. Thank uh, you, thank you so much. Although I have not I, had you were there for my live sessions on live Demi also, and that yes, was a blessing. Thank you so much for always encouraging and inspiring us. Yeah, of course, you know during the pandemic, I've been closely involved with uh, uh, building up live Demi, but since the pandemic has been lifted, all of us musicians are on the road. I'm right mm-hmm. now in Aurangabad, uh, here to perform tomorrow. All the best. Uh, All the best. Nevertheless, uh, I wish you both success and happiness. Thank you so much. With every single note you breathe and every single oh, note you thank sing. You. Huh? Thank All you. Thank you. All the very best to you and Nihira ji. I hope I get to Hare, meet you soon. No. And, no, uh, and there is something I would like to mention here that I have spent, uh, a, I think, a span of nice seven, eight months with Mahesh Dada, meeting him almost uh, twice, thrice a week because uh, we were together in this show called Sur Nava Dhyas Nava. And I've had uh-huh. wonderful interactions with him. I've had a lot of uh, chances to learn so many things. about music apart from music also from him right. and uh, it was a pleasure to get to know you mahesh dada not at all well stage is all mine and i hope i get to spend some time with the both of you at uh, absolutely absolutely got it mm-hmm. yes Chalo. all the best and see you and thank you for joining thank you for joining mahesh dada most thank you so most much work. most work. Yeah, wow, we've had like uh, a nice uh, surprise in the form of two guests, Bhavya and Mahesh Dada, yeah. both of them. Which uh, yes. and it was a pleasure to have both of them and to see so much of respect in their eyes for you uh, was so amazing. Uh, same, same here, uh, Neera, and of course uh, you yourself are such a an artist par excellence. Like when I was when those introductions were happening, I was like. what songs and what a voice <laughs> and i've 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 maintained that for a very long time you're somebody who's uh, just a few days back when you were here in india you were recording a song with two of my very dear fl- friends one yes. is for shantanu and the other is ashwin ji and uh, shantanu was raving about your pitching and i was like oh this is 20 years old i mean <laughs> it's not new <laughs> yeah. oh she was a pitching like crazy experience. even in the competition so it was like it's i've always known you to be one of the most mellifluous and pitch perfect singers so which and it's it's a quality that people develop over, over a period of time so uh, i i i i've always always admired that itna acha stage ke andar gana live ke andar are maine bahut kam artists mein suna hai matlab i can they are countably few there are just two others sonu ji and sundi that's it it ends there thank you uh, thank you so i mean oh. ऊपर से कुछ चीजें ऊपर से आती हैं और फिर आप उनको तराशते हैं सो बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सो आई एम जस्ट लकी दैट आई हैव गॉट सुर आई मीन आई एम ऑलवेज ग्रेटफुल टू गॉड टू द ऑलमाइटी टू द हायर पावर कि ये चीज मिली है 
and uh, i've and and uh, you know thankfully i've had gurus who have also sharpened this quality inside me yes so yes yes wo bahut hi bada gift aapne sambhala bhi hai usko tarasha bhi hai sab kuch kiya hai so it's not all mm-hmm. luck Haan. of course luck is a major, major part of it's a gift music is a gift yes. so obviously we are all gifted in different ways but usko pakad ke rakhna usko is tarike se nikharna is is really commendable no for me it's important the sur is very important and very uh, me, me so. too and i'm anal about it with myself because as a stage ke andar bhi jo improv singing ke andar to aur bhi zyada mujhe lagta hai ki wo chhut jane ke itne bahane hain ya bhi soch rahe ho abhi kar rahe ho abhi kuch naya kiya kabhi kabhi taal ka dimension hai kabhi kuch hai kabhi kuch so sari cheezon ko milate hue and then emotion ko bhi perfect rakhte hue ek rendition karna और किन चीजों का ध्यान आप रखती है लाइक आई सेड अभी दोनों ही चीजों में स्विचिंग ऑन एंड स्विचिंग ऑफ से भी ज्यादा मुझे लगता है डिग्रीज मेंटेन करना कि अगर गाने में बिल्कुल ही क्लासिकल टच नहीं है तो मे बी एक स्विच ऑफ मोड आता है बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम हम लोग क्लासिकल म्यूजिक में ऐसा सोचते हैं सीखते समय कि अरे वो तो बहुत हरकत हैवी स्पेस होगा शायद बट एक्चुअली क्लासिकल म्यूजिक के अंदर सभी डायमेंशन है मीन का काम भी है कण का काम भी है फिर मुर्गियों का काम भी है और गमक का काम भी है तो उन डिग्रीज को कितना चाहिए वो एंड द ओनली थिंग दैट स्विच इज ऑफ ड्यूरिंग अ प्ले बैक सॉन्ग इज द स्टांस क्योंकि स्पेसिफिकली फॉर प्ले बैक इफ इट्स अ बॉलीवुड सॉन्ग इफ इट इज फॉर अ फिल्म जिसकी एक स्टोरी है तो फिर उस अंदाज से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन रफू आई रिमेंबर शी वॉज अ हाउस वाइफ मिडल एज विदाउट एनी म्यूजिकल बैकग्राउंड दैट वॉज हर कैरेक्टर तो yeah. उसका कैरेक्टर गाते हुए भी कितना ही क्लासिकल जबकि गाना काफी यू नो इट वाज क्वाइट इट वाज इन द सेमी क्लासिकल जोन तो उसमें काफी कुछ किया जा सकता था लेकिन hmm. अगर वो फिल्म में ना होता ऐसे ही होता तो शायद और हाँ. थोड़ा और थोड़ा उसमें uh, uh, हम डाल सकते थे और कार्यकारी इंट्रिकेट और डिटेलिंग कर सकते थे लेकिन उतनी ही जरूरत थी तो जितनी जरूरत थी उतनी की और वहां पे वो वो चीजें कट करनी पड़ती है वो दिमाग के अंदर रखना पड़ता है कि दिस इज फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर समबडी स्टोरी यस समबडी एल्सेस स्टोरी में कैसे फिट होना है उतना आई हैव आल्सो टेकन फ्रॉम देयर इनटू माय क्लासिकल आई थिंक दैट हैज बीन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेस फॉर मी क्योंकि आई प्राइमरीली डू क्लासिकल म्यूजिक तो वहां से मैंने ना वो जो इमोटिवनेस है क्योंकि कई बार हम इतना टेक्निक के अंदर घुस जाते हैं क्लासिकल के अंदर कि इमोटिवनेस थोड़ा सा बैकसीट लेता है <laughs> तो मैं कोशिश करती हूँ कि वहां पे जो वहां की जो लर्निंग है वो यहाँ पे तो यहाँ पे नहीं वो इधर भी आ जाए तो नाउ इट्स लाइक अ ग्रेट एक्सचेंज दैट हैज हैपन्ड एंड ओनली द स्टांस आई काइंड ऑफ स्विच ऑफ और स्विच ऑफ बट the elements i feel i i i calibrate the degree ki kitna hoga kya nikalna hoga kya dalna hoga beautiful answer beautiful answer and uh, he, there is namita ji uh, who has asked a very uh, interesting question she wants to know about the composer and the lyricist inside you and this is something even i wanted to know that you compose your own bandishes right and writing lyrics is also yes. a challenging part uh, i mean yes. so uh, how is it uh, that you do it do you compose the melody first and then fit words into it or thought or you first uh, decorate the thought in your mind and then uh, you know use the ornamentations of the rag to uh, 
sort of decorate the bandish or express it right uh, so for me i think most of the bandishes that i have done they have happened uh, very simultaneously the lyrics okay. and the melody have okay. come to me simultaneously hmm. and uh, i wouldn't say i don't know how because i have always been uh, a little bit of a writer so okay. maine poems likhi hain बचपन में भी लिखी है बट फिर अपने आप को आप पोएट नहीं कह सकते क्योंकि क्योंकि हर हर कोई बचपन में अपनी डायरी में पोएम्स लिखता है डोंट रियली क्वालिफाई टू बिकम अ पोएट इफ यू आर डूइंग दैट बट इन कोर्स ऑफ माय एडल्टुड आल्सो फ्रॉम माय एडोलेसेंस टू माय एडल्टुड आई हैव रिटन अ लॉट तो वहां से माय राइटिंग कम्स एंड आई हैव आल्सो बीन फैसिनेटेड बाय पोएट्री फिर एक एक टाइम था जब मैंने थोड़ा बहुत गजल भी सीखा तो उस टाइम पे भी थोड़ी शायरी ये वो काफिया रदीफ का होल द होल राइम एंड रिदम कल्चर जिसको हम कहते हैं मैं उससे बहुत फैसिनेटेड रही हमेशा तो लिखना वाज वन ऑफ माय अदर थिंग्स इन इन द डायमेंशन ऑफ माय ग्रोथ प्रोसेस तो वो था तो इसीलिए शायद मुझे साइमल्टेनियसली आया बट आई एम श्योर मोस्ट पीपल इधर कंपोज द मेलेडी फर्स्ट और राइट फर्स्ट एंड देन दैट्स हाउ इट हैपेंस फॉर मी कंपोजिंग ऑफ नाउ कमिंग टू कंपोजिशन कंपोजिशंस ऑफ बंदिशेस सो शुरू में मैंने बंदिशे कंपोज करना जब मतलब जब ये प्रोसेस स्टार्ट हुआ इट वाज मोर फॉर माय ओन स्टडी राग को और अच्छा समझने के लिए ठीक है ऐसे शुरू हुआ लेकिन बाद में ऐसा मुझे मतलब एक राग को करते करते इतना वक्त बीत जाता था ना नीरा दो महीने हो गए तीन महीने हो गए साल निकल गया लाइक लेट्स द रागस दैट आई हैव नोन फॉर ट्वेंटी इयर्स वर्सेस द रागस दैट आई नोन दैट आई हैव नोन फॉर लेट्स से फाइव इयर्स न्यूली तो हाँ न्यूली तो जो न्यूली है उसके लिए जब मैं बंदिश क्रिएट करती हूँ तो वो स्टडी और एक्सप्लोरेशन के स्पेस से आता है कि मुझे इस राग को और जानने के लिए कुछ कंपोज मैंने किया तो और थोड़ा डेप्थ में उसके गई चार पांच चीजें सुनी और फिर खुद कुछ करने का उसमें कोशिश किया और लेट्स से आप राग लाइक यमन विच आई नोन फॉर ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स कई बार मुझे ना आया है हाँ। आया किया नहीं ठीक है तो दोनों तरीके की चीजें हुई हैं वन वेर थिंग्स हैव स्पॉन्टेनियसली अकर टू मी एंड इन वेरी लाइक आई वॉज नॉट थिंकिंग ऑफ इट एंड इट जस्ट है लू में बी एंड कुछ एक, एक आ गया एक थॉट आ गया एक तर्ज आ गई पूरी लाइन के साथ पूरा पूरा पहला लाइन आ गया और एक बार पहला लाइन आ गया तो फिर उस पर काम करने बैठे हाँ या वो एकदम वो सुबह की नींद होती है ना जो अब आधी आधी अधूरी सी सबकॉन्शियस उठ रहे हो उठने से पहले वाली उसमें कुछ सोचते सोचते आ गया एंड देन सडनली इट वेक्स मी ऐसा भी हुआ ओके सो There are those bandishes, and then there are bandishes like I said. Ki, I I am doing those bandishes for a purpose to learn purpose. more of the rag, to to explore more of that rag, and dissect. to dissect. Yes, to dissect, to understand the melodic meaning. Just say Yaman ke under, I have done four five bandishes. So uh, keeping in mind that rag is actually a mood, right? So in that, and then mood is also so layered. Yes. इमोशन इज सो लेयर्ड ना मतलब अगर मैं श्रृंगार रस की बात कर रही हूँ प्रेम की बात कर रही हूँ तो कौन सा प्रेम वत्सल्य रस का प्रेम या संजीदगी वाला यू नो या पूजा प्रेम जो पूजा भक्ति यू नो दैट ब्रिंग्स मी टू अंट दैट वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट यमन सो इन यमन ओनली देर इज तुम हो पूजा मैं पूजारी तुम गगन के चंद्रमा हो मैं धरा की धूल हूँ सच डिवाइन सच डिवाइन डिवाइन दैट हैज बीन डेकोरेटेड इन यमन राइट राइट देर इज किनारे किनारे then there is kinare kinare okay then there is kinare kinare and uh, uh, then mai vari vari ja then there is that also that okay. also which has chanchal prakriti shringaras so these layers once you start going deeper and deeper and deeper then you know ki acha is kam pare was is me ma wow yes kya मेलोडिक मीनिंग क्या है नीमा का मेलोडिक मीनिंग क्या बन रहा है वर्सेस परे का मेलोडिक मीनिंग क्या बन रहा है और फिर उसमें क्या शब्द सो आई वाज सो फैसिनेटेड विद जस्ट द तीव्र मध्यम की मैंने पूरा एक बंदिश तीव्र मध्यम को प्रधान मान के 
maybe hear it uh, i uh, for sure why not why not yeah. so uh, Hmm. तो ये थोड़ा सा विरह रस को अगर हम विरह की बात करें और यमन श्रृंगार श्रृंगार के अंदर विरह तो है ही है प्यार है तो दूरी भी है दूरी है तो उसका विरह रस है तो शब्द है गए रे दिन बीत गए प्रिया के संग केली रंग रलिया ओके सो द नायका इज काइंड ऑफ रेमिनेसिंग एंड देर इज अ शेड ऑफ मेलन कली टू दिस राइट की गए वो दिन बीत गए कि जब मैं प्रिया के संग थी गए रे दिन बीत गई गए रे दिन बीत गई पिया के संग के लिए रंग रलिया गए रे दिन बीत तो जो गए रे दिन बीत तीव्र मध्यम को गए रे ये तो ये 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 लाइन मुझे अपने आप पूरी विद द लिरिक्स ही आई थी उसके बाद वाली लाइन फिर किस चीज के दिन बीत गए वो फिर थॉट वाइज फिर उसको डाला उसको किया लेकिन ये आ, कितना आया था और कितना किया हो एक उसका एग्जाम्पल देने के लिए मैं गए रे दिन बीत गई पिया के संग के लिए रंग रलिया तो खेली का जो लोच होगा वो हाँ रंग रलिया वहां पे रंग रलिया में पूरा रन आएगा तो वो छो, बहुत छोटी छोटी चीजों पे ध्यान देना एक एक करके बंदिश बनाते बनाते फिर उसका और एक्सपीरियंस से और अच्छी चीजें आती हैं यही है That's, 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 uh, study, yeah. Yes. Uh, with that, uh, I think uh, we have another guest who oh. wants to join us. Ananya Bhaumik. Oh, hi, hi Ananya. Hi. So, so nice to see you guys. You. Thank you. Ronkini, how are you? I am good, Ananya. How are you? Good, good, good. So Meera, good so good to see you, yar. Same here. Uh, Ananya herself is a wonderful singer, and I have known her since a long time. We go back to the Varsha Bhave times, and uh, yes. and so nice to have you here, Ananya. Same thank here. You, thank same you. Thank you. I have no nice idea what I'm doing here between the two of you. <laughs> I am huge fans of each of you, and y'all have like. really really nailed the art of composing and performing and expressing expressing is what mainly i'll stress on because uh, that is something that comes uh, not with any kind of teaching that comes from within so i really really look up to both of you guys for that expression in your music which is oh, uh, amazing so and my daughter is a huge fan of ronkinis Oh, <laughs> yeah. She's she's been there for a couple of my concerts, and she's such yeah. a sweetheart. No, and uh, Ronkini, what you did for um, you know uh, the fact that a ten or an eleven year old child can say that I like this singer and I want to meet this singer and I oh wow can I meet this singer mm. for a classical singer is I think a big thing that you have done. Yeah, yeah, it's know. a win. That's what I was telling Nehra also that you know I it's it's broken a lot of it's busted a lot of myths for me. Okay, fusion. I mean, like I was telling her that you know the whole idea of the fusion band was that I I I should penetrate into the smaller age groups, but it's not that. It's pure classical in its purity, in its true self, can cut across ages, and that's a fact. That's the reality. Uh, with Ananya's daughter. I I had that win, so yeah, the, she is there to thank kind you. of thank validate you so much for that. <laughs> yes, and okay. I, I've heard Nivi also, and uh, Satyajit writes here that Nivi isn't a ten, eleven year old, and she is a singer soul herself. <laughs> yes, <laughs> aim into that. <laughs> Please, yes, and Abhi also is. These are bright minds. I was telling that also to Nehra. कि अभी जो बच्चे हैं ना वो अलग ही हैं भाई वो उनसे आप उनको सिखाओ कम सीखो ज्यादा करेक्ट एंड दे हैव एक्सेस टू सो मच ऑफ म्यूजिक अराउंड देम दे हैव एक्सेस टू सो मच ऑफ डिस्ट्रैक्शन अराउंड देम 
जो अपने टाइम पे वी कुड नॉट इवन इमेजिन बट इन स्पाइट ऑफ दैट इफ समबडी इज टेकिंग एन इंटरेस्ट और यू नो इवन शोइंग अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ वॉन्टिंग टू यू नो लिसन टू अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ म्यूजिक विच वी कंसिडर द प्योरेस्ट फॉर्म और वी कंसिडर अ हाई फॉर्म ऑफ म्यूजिक then i think that's a win for everybody who has put in that much of effort like me as True. a mother you as an artist <laughs> <laughs> absolutely and you True. as an artist as well we uh, i i am uh, nowhere i am nowhere close to you guys so i was i came here only because satya ji told me to and because i know both of you i said i thought that i'll say hello to you guys but honestly speaking let me tell you something none of us are in a competition here all Genial. of us i know i know <laughs> i know <laughs> I, I, I just completely agree. Uh, we are just doing things that make us feel happy and happy. Uh, just expressing yeah. ourselves. So, like you are like a phenomenal live performer herself, and uh, specializes in old old school classic Bollywood, and she's keeping that uh, genre alive. And uh, absolutely, absolutely, you are really too sweet, Yanira. Yeah, no, 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 it's true. I, you know, I I am really not of the opinion that. कुछ हाई या लो है एक्चुअली पुराने गाने तो एक एक गाना स्कूल है एक एक गाना लता जी का एक गाना अगर आपने कर लिया ना तो आप इस इस ये जन्म पार हो जाएगा आपका एक्सप्रेसिंग आवर सेल्फ या प्लीज गो यस सॉरी सॉरी यू सेइंग समथिंग प्लीज कैरी ऑन आई आस्क माय क्वेश्चन नो 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 दैट्स व्हाट यू आर ऑल ऑफ us you ask your question okay. please so i wanted to ask both of you in fact that uh, you know um, as as an artist as an artist there is always some uh, some form of music that you want to do or you like you know mm-hmm. you love to perform or you love to learn or you love to sing and then there is one form of music or there is some idea of what the audience wants or craves okay mm-hmm. so as an artist uh, where do you how do you find the balance and i this this question is for both ronkini and for nehira and i really would love to have uh, you know both your uh, points of view what do you I, think? yes i would let uh, ronkini answer first she's the guest of honor and uh, <laughs> uh for me i think uh, ananya uh, i have traveled through a journey so at least at this point i feel it it has to start with you wanting to do what you want to do hmm irrespective of uh what the audience wants not because of anything else but because we never know what the audience wants hmm we can only control or know if at all वो खुद का खुद की क्या चॉइस है वो भी जानने में वो भी कोई सिंगल पॉइंट नहीं है एक्चुअली वो भी ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम चेंज करती है इवॉल्व करती है ट्रांसफॉर्म करती है सो so, uh, उसी पे ही आपका नियंत्रण आ जाएगा बहुत बड़ी बात है कि वही अगर आप जान जाए कि आपको क्या बोलना है uh, और आपको क्या अच्छा लगता है उतने पे ही हम आ जाए तो वो बहुत बड़ी बात है सो आई फील एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम Uh, with my experience whatever a little bit of experience that i have behind me wholly and solely i i feel my performance is what i want to express and i think if there is that degree of authenticity or honesty to it the audience is with you yes they are with you they want to again it's an assumption because i began by saying ki we really never know what the audience wants but from my experience i have seen that when you enjoy yourself the audience is with you so that's that's how i feel about it what do you feel nehira i completely uh, conquer and uh, it it takes a long time to understand what exactly your sound is what is it that you resonate with wo samajhne mein thode saal lag jate hain but once you have that conviction inside you and when you are performing with that conviction it's a, it's a small uh, sh- small experience that i would like to share i was once uh, performing a solo set at a, a venue where i was also performing old songs ghazals semi classicals bhi the and there were a, a, a lot of my original compositions also and i was surprised to get 
the kind of applause I got for my original compositions and people exactly. came backstage and they told me we want to hear more of your own songs. Exactly, so, so true. So, कहीं से I agree with Ronkini that because you put your entire heart and soul in what you have created, the audience is with you at that time uh, at at that point because you are hundred percent convinced about it. और आप सब कुछ देते हो उसको. Correct. Uh, so yes i think the struggle is about finding what your sound is and what exactly what is it that you want to do i think you nailed it ronkini over there and the other part of the question is also ki kaun sa audience because you keep changing hmm. your venues right to aap kitne tarike ke audience ko khush karoge isko usko kisko so when you are yourself You are very confident कि चलो यही है मुझको इतना आता है और बहुत ही कैंडिडली मैं उसको प्रेजेंट कर पा रही हूँ तो बस उतना इट्स लाइक इट्स लाइक मीटिंग अ पर्सन लाइक डू आई कीप चेंजिंग फॉर द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन दैट आई मीट मे बी आई रेग्युलेट माई बींग लिटिल बिट बट मोर और लेस जो कोर है वो तो वही रहना है तो उसको अगर हम मान के चलेंगे तो आई फील कि आप अपना एक्सप्रेशन पे हाँ मैं मैं ऑडियंस को बोल देती हूँ कि मुझे नहीं लगता दैट मैं इसको जस्टिस दे पाऊंगी इसीलिए यू नो मैं इसको आई वुड लाइक टू प्रोबली नॉट टेक दिस रिक्वेस्ट बिकॉज यस बिकॉज आई डोंट थिंक आई कैन गिव जस्टिस टू दिस इट इज दिस इज हाउ ऑनेस्टली आई जस्ट कन्फ्यूज टू दस इन फैक्ट सो ब्यूटिफुल huge thing you know knowing uh, knowing how to express to the audience what you can and what you cannot give is also a skill and an art so absolutely it involves a high degree of self assessment for starters and then the courage courage mm-hmm. also yes yes accept it and gracefully project it so definitely Uh, that was a very uh, different kind of a question ananya question I mean, yes i'm uh, very ready very ready to ever ask I this think. question uh, to me or uh, ronkini also i think yeah 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 people don't ask because wahi hai na ki kyunki hum sab darte hain ki kya because all the time we are seeing even in the world of today in the world of social media in, on instagram we get the perfect picture for everything from a yeah. vacation to a performance only the perfect part is <laughs> yeah it's like <laughs> heavily display. filtered stuff heavily filtered exactly, stuff exactly exactly be it, be it, so be it a mic filter or a uh, you hmm. know screen filter filter exactly hai. even a blooper even a blooper is projected in its most utmost perfection so <laughs> correct so so then we don't get to know so uh, thanks for this question and i think right. a lot of people would would uh, it would help a lot of people to understand this So the takeaway is that you have to find your own voice, and you should be convinced of your what you are doing, and that is how you will touch the audience. And I think that's that's the perfect. I mean, that's in a nutshell what you both said, and I right. think that's perfectly true of anything in life. If yes, right. If you do it with love and honesty, then everybody will like it. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me, girls. Ah, uh, no, it was hey, a pleasure, yeah, Ananya, yeah, to have you. and uh, it's always nice for all of us to converse like this about the things that we go through it makes sure. us feel more normal and uh, because everybody is in the same boat and that feeling is very important for all of us right. so right. thank you for joining us ananya and thank you uh, thank you rogi thank you meera for... thank you unfortunately paddy is not home he's out he's uh, yes. he's gone uh, elsewhere and uh, So that's why I cannot call him to join me. Otherwise, he would have loved to meet you guys. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, we also have.
a question from Milinda Teji that Ronkini ji, have you ever settled with a rag in the green room and sung a different one on stage? I guess we covered that okay. part earlier. Uh, I have. Yes. I have, Milind ji. And uh, uh, as luck may have it, it has turned out absolutely fine. But uh, it could it could also go completely in the other way, <laughs> I guess. Yes. I have. I have. I, I we, we did this part yes. with Nihira before. Yes. Thank you. And uh, Ronkini, I there is uh, I would love to have you sing something, anything that you feel like singing uh, before we close the session. And uh, Anything, any bandesh, a song that you feel like singing for us. It would be a pleasure to hear you. Yeah, sure. I, I can. It's just that after so much of talking, my voice does not lend itself in its most, uh, uh, in its in its fittest, I would say. But uh, whatever you feel like. That, yeah. I'll, uh, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Did I, did I go off the camera? Is no. You just to switch your, on the you just yeah. but now you're fine. I, I just wanted to switch on my Tanpura. Just give me a second. Yes. Please take your time. Mm -hmm. Somebody sing Madhuvanti, please. And Madhuvanti, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you very well. Yeah. See, I was planning to sing completely something else, but Madhu won't be this. I think sometimes it's a bit over the place. Bandish of mine. Am I audible? Yes, very much. Mine be the Mora Mother be the Mora Mother be the Mora Mother for my dad for a penny. So this is Shingaras. Hmm. And Madhuvanti is Shingaras with a restlessness. So it's a little irritability, a little complaint. A little bit Not anger, but a little dissatisfaction. Shikwa, shikayat. Shikwa, shikwa. Correct. So, फिर ये सिंगर रस कैसा होगा उसके शब्द कैसे होंगे उसको आ, रखते हुए दिमाग में ये बंदिश है मन में मन में तो मोरा मन को भाए तन को अपने प्रीति से रंगा उनके रंग उनके ढंग है अनूठे वो जो रूट है किस रीति से मनाए 
जिसमे ऐसा है की अभी जाओ मैं तुमको मनाती ही नहीं हूँ मैं तुम्हारे बिना कहती हूँ you know that kind of a, uh, hmm. an emotion to druti ki bandish hai main sajungi sab rohungi ab to piya main sajungi sab rohungi ab to piya main sajungi sab rohungi ab to piya tore liye namo ra shingar main sajungi sab rohungi झूठ कपट छल तोरा है आभूषण जा 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 पिया मैं सजूंगी सब रूंगी अब तो पिया मैं सजूंगी सब रूंगी अब तो पिया तोरे लिए ना मोरा शिंगार मैं सजूंगी सब रूंगी आज सब रूंगी हेलो बस आपकी दुआ और और यार मिस योर सेशन यार बड़ा फसा हुआ था बट अब दोनों को इतने फसे हुए लग रहे हो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा हां जाजिम वेलकम टू द सेशन जाजिम के साथ मैं एक सेशन कर चुकी हूं इनफैक्ट जस्ट विद हिम एंड व्हाट अ फेनोमेनल आर्टिस्ट कमाल के कमाल के कमाल के आदमी है गजल सिंगिंग इज इन सेफ हैंड्स आई वुड से जाजिम है तो देश का the world, the world is in safe hands. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> very safe safe Same to you for classical music also. Yes, definitely. आप, आप ये चीज लेके चल रहे हो जो जितनी शुद्धता के साथ आप ये चीज कर रहे हैं ना आई थिंक मतलब मैं तो जिन जिन को भी आपका गाना सुना रहा हूँ सब आपके फैन हो रहे हैं जिन्होंने आपको सुना वो तो है जिन्होंने नहीं भी सुना वो सब आप मतलब यही चीज बोल रहे हैं कि आज की डेट में क्लासिकल म्यूजिक में तैयारी के साथ साथ रूदारी भी बहुत कम सुनने को मिलती है तो सो रोमकिनी जी को इस चीज के लिए बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद बिल्कुल थैंक यू जयजिम और जयसिम के साथ मेरा जो संबंध है वो एकदम मतलब इस एक आत्मीयता का संबंध है आत्मा जो होती है ना आत्मा जुड़ जाते हैं जब संगीत की वजह से तो वो वाला आ, हमारा कनेक्शन है एंड वी जस्ट गो टू ईच अदर्स प्लेस टू हियर ईच अदर एंड लर्न फ्रॉम ईच अदर तो ये दिस इज माय सौभाग्य एंड व्हेन ही कम द व्हेन ही हैड कम टू माय हाउस आई टोल्ड माय पेरेंट्स कि एक जमाना था जब कभी हो सकता है कि गुलाम अली साहब किसी के घर जाते थे अगर अपने किसी फैन के घर तो उन उनके साथ जैसा बिहेव करना है ना वैसा इनके साथ बिहेव करना कि हमारे सदी के गुलाम अली साहब है तो हर हर सदी में एक बहुत बड़ा आर्टिस्ट आता है जिसको जो हु गोज डाउन हिस्ट्री सो जैजिम इज वन ऑफ दो आर्टिस्ट आई फील थैंक यू जैजिम फॉर बी फॉर बींग बॉन्ड इन इन दिस इरा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर इतने अच्छे अच्छे वर्ड्स के लिए और आप मतलब मतलब मैं आपका तो फैन हूँ वो तो आपको तो मालूम ही है और निहरिया जी के लिए भी मैं ये बात जरूर कहना चाहूंगा कि कितना अच्छे से मतलब संगीत को इतना प्यार करती हैं और खुद भी इतनी है। और क्या बात है यार आप सब लोगों को देख के ऐसा लग रहा है कि देट हम एक फैमिली है एक एक सुरीली सी फैमिली है सब लोग और सत्यजीत भाई का भी शुक्रिया जिन्होंने ये लाइव फैमिली के जरिए हम सबको जोड़ के रखा हुआ और जो भी लोग देख रहे हैं उन सबका शुक्रिया जो लोग सच्चे संगीत को और 
एक सीखने की चाह है उन लोगों में क्योंकि बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो लोग मुझे भी इतने मैसेज मतलब मैसेजेस आते हैं कि हम सीखना चाहते हैं तो वो मतलब तब बड़ा अच्छा लगता है कि लोगों में सीखने की चाह भी है और रोंकिनी जी जैसे अच्छे उस्ताद यहाँ पे हैं तो हो गया काम बिल्कुल थैंक यू सो मच जैसिम फॉर दैट ऑन दैट नोट आई वुड एक्चुअली लाइक टू अनाउंस फॉर पीपल जिनको नहीं पता मेरी मास्टर क्लासेस शुरू होने वाली है सेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च को तो जिन जिनको भी सीखना हो इट्स एन एट वीक कोर्स जहाँ पे मैं कुछ प्रैक्टिस टेक्निक्स और प्रैक्टिस मटेरियल देती हूँ जो भी मैंने जितना कुछ जो थोड़ा बहुत सीखा है उसको कंपाइल करके कोशिश करती हूँ कि आई कैन शेयर इट विथ द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन माई ओन स्मॉल वे सो Thank you for sharing this uh, with us, Ronkini, and I'm sure everybody who joins your sessions will benefit from them. Or uh, uh, because I've just had a very insightful conversation with you right now, the clarity of mind that you have uh, in your thoughts, in your singing, everything is commendable, and I'm sure you will pass it on to uh, the people who are learning from you, and they would be fortunate to learn from you. Thank you so much, Nehra, for those really kind words. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jazim, for joining. You, Arre, uh, he went off. So bye, bye, Nehra. Jazim, <laughs> Jazim is phenomenal. Or yeah. uh, as I said, Ghazal singing is in safe hands. Safe hands. Jazim is there. Absolutely safe hands. So and uh, Ronkini, with that, I would like to, uh, I would say, conclude this session. Yes. And yes, just, Nehra. I would like to say. Firstly, I would like to express my gratitude for accepting my invitation to be on this uh, thank series. Thank you for having me, and, and thank you for this platform where I could have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Yes, so beautiful and so beautiful. इतना हमने मिलके भी कभी बात नहीं की है. So नहीं. thank you to Satyajit uh, for bringing us together, together. and making us have this uh, talk. And I got so thank much you. from you this evening from this conversation, Ronkini. Uh, likewise and, likewise nehra likewise and the way you also kind of put your thoughts together i i would extend the same uh, compliment to you that your clarity of thought is also very commendable but uh, that i got to know uh, where from also from the conversation that i had with you during covid you know where we yeah. extended our conversation to yes i i got glimpses of it and i was so happy for you ke how you have paved your way through this extremely uh, not just difficult but very relentless journey music is a very relentless uh, journey you, you said it correctly bahut bahut struggle hai bahut uh, trial and error hai ha aur par wohi hai na ki love hai itna aapke andar bhi wo main dekhti hu ki itna pyar hai ki wo struggle lagta hai wo aisa lagta hai ki yahi to hai usme wo utna nahi hoga to fir uska fruit bhi utna meetha kaise lagega बिल्कुल बिल्कुल तो वही वही बात है सो थैंक यू सो मच नेहरा थैंक यू सो मच आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल द पीपल हु हैव जॉइंड एंड देयर इज द होस्ट सत्यजीत इज रिक्वेस्टिंग मी टू सिंग अ सॉन्ग या यू मस्ट सिंग अ सॉन्ग एंड वी विल कंक्लूड विद दैट ओके आई वुड लाइक टू सिंग समथिंग दैट आई कंपोज्ड फॉर माय एल्बम तृष्णा इट्स द ओपनिंग सॉन्ग ऑफ द एल्बम it's called trishna antar man ki i would like to hum a few lines of that for the and uh, with that we will uh, conclude the session sure mm, i'll just switch the tantra on wait बदरिया 
सुन सुन रे बतिया बदरिया सुन सुन रे बतिया मुरे मन की मन आनंद रुद्र मन भावन की मन आनंद रुद्र मन भावन की राह तक की बंसुरी की बंसुरी की धुन के thank you so, thank you so much so lovely so thank see you talking about the rain in hansadwani yes yes yeah it, it, the layer of the rain to me for some reason yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much romkini and i mm-hmm. absolutely love uh, this interaction that i uh, get to have with all the lovely artists through kahani for which i would like to thank live remy and satya ji and uh, with this i would like to sign off and wish yes. romkini all the very best for all her endeavors her classes her concerts and her songs and thank you uh, so much and same to you neera thank you so much and Switch to all the followers of kahani we would be back with another guest very soon with another conversation thanks a lot thanks a lot bye 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 bye